we shall institute a public inquiry into the integrity of each commissioner who does not resign voluntarily in 30 days. Two, we have recently received requests from community groups and individuals who have det details against several commissioners and with the intention to petition parliament for the removal of the commissioners of NLC. When they support, we, when they do, we shall support the petition. Three, we demand the immediate release and disclosure of all public inquiry reports done by NLC from 2013 and for the public to be appraised on actions taken uh, this far. We therefore call upon the, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and the Directorate of Criminal Investigation to do further the following. One, audit all undertakings of NLC since its inception in 2013. Two, investigate land deals and all lease, lease, lease renewals, including those of Mombasa Cement, Kakuzi Limited, the National Housing Corporation allocation uh, of houses in Embakasi, Mwamdudu Primary School on Dongokundu Bypass. Three, undertake a lifestyle and performance audit on all the other national land commissioners. Hii tume ardhi imesha tuangusha kama wa Kenya. Matumaini ambao tulikuwa nayo hapo awali imetusonga sana. Kiasi cha kwamba yale malengo haswa yalipokuwa ya, tunajaribu ku kuwa, tuwa, tuko nayo yameleta shida. Shida ya kwanza ni kwamba haki za, za mnyonge hazijalindwa. Na ya pili ni kwamba yote haya ambayo yanazungumziwa kashfa ya rushwa imefanya kila kila mwanajamii anaona kwamba matumaini yake kwenye tume imemalizika. La pili ni kwamba tume hii inaonekana wazi na dhahiri kwamba imeshindwa kutekeleza wajibu wake kulingana na majukumu ambayo walikuwa wamepatiwa. Kwa hivyo tunasema kwamba tume imefikiwa kati kwamba ifunge virago iende nyumbani wengine ambao watakuwa naaminika waweze kuja kufanya hiyo kazi.